Welcome back, everybody, to 2KCW. We got ourselves tag team action to open up the show. We have the elements, Frostbite and Heatstroke, we have not seen here in a number of weeks here on 2KCW. Hopefully get back to winning ways. And of course our main event, which was supposed to occur last week, but I'm being told now is going to be contested for the first time ever in the history of 2CW as well as 2KCW, a steel cage match between Devin Andrews and Leroy Punch Beef. Again, that was the match that was supposed to take place last week until Eric Anderson ambushed Devin Andrews on his way to the ring last week. So there's a bit of an insurance policy that there will be no outside interference in that tag team match, or the main event, rather. And here comes Smooth as Silk, Dynamite York, Dynamite Curtis, and Isaac York. Both teams are very impressive, but nobody has been able to yet defeat the tag team champions, the Awakening, in any kind of stipulation. Of course, we're getting close, ladies and gentlemen, to the Girls Grand Prix, which is, again, a one-night-only tournament where, as we saw in the announcement from Craig Spencer, the network executive, that the winner will receive, will be facing... Uh, Dizzy Jet in the finals for the first ever 2KCW Women's Championship. So the Girls Grand Prix will be starting very soon. But right now we got Isaac York and Frostbite in the ring right now. An innovative knee bar, a leg bar from Isaac York. Of course, Frostbite and Heat Stroke are cousins. So they know each other very well in and outside the ring. And Isaac York getting a little bit of an appetite for turnbuckle, turnbuckle padding. Frostbite's got him up. Frostbite into the sit up jawbreaker. To Isaac York. Uppercut there by Frostbite. Into the corner splash, coming up empty. Frostbite, Isaac York. Keeping control. Got him almost to his own corner. Now York makes a tag to Dynamite Curtis. Wrench in the arm, frostbite. Now going to the opposite corner. Tag made. Here comes Heat Stroke. The other half of the elements isolating the right arm of Dynamite Curtis. Dynamite is one talented individual. Very gifted young man. I was going for the Falcon Arrow there. At least that's what it looked like. Monkey flip out of the corner from Dynamite. And Curtis lifting him up and delivering a knee right between the eyes. Nothing pretty about it. Just straight up effective is what that is. From the overhand right to the hip toss and the wearing down the collarbone area and the neck of heat stroke. And now again into Smooth as Silk's corner, another monkey flip from Dynamite.
And stroke again, isolating this time the other, the left arm of Dynamite. So Dynamite's going to have like next to no use of his arms here shortly. As there may have been a little miscommunication there between the elements. And Dynamite was able to take advantage of the situation. Now he'd stroke, this time he's coming up empty with a splash in the corner. Fighting back here is Heat Stroke with a clothesline from Dynamite Curtis. Takes him down. And now Dynamite with a running Bulldog. Signature maneuver there from Dynamite Curtis. A running Bulldog normally sets up for the implosion or the ignite. Have to wait and see what he goes for. Running knees. Comes up empty. For Dynamite, but Heat Stroke able to land on his feet. Now Heat Stroke fighting back here into the running drop kick. Takes down Curtis. And now a Death Valley driver of sorts from Heat Stroke. Lock control. Dynamite takes down Heat Stroke. Rolls through. Heat Stroke sending Curtis in the elements corner. Running forearm. Almost a bit of a receipt from that running knee earlier. Now Heat Stroke setting up for his version of an Enziguri. Goes for the sunburn. Coming to the empty. The sunburn did not connect on Dynamite Curtis. Rana takes down Curtis as he was more or less gloating that he was able to get out of the way of the sunburn tag made here comes frostbite again wrenching on the work on the left arm of dynamite Curtis now to the tilt the world Fujiwara armbar here from frostbite the dynamite is pleading with the referee to not say that he was tapping out to the Fujiwara armbar there. And again, Frostbite and trying to get any kind of ounce of intimidation in on Dynamite Curtis here. Possibly discussing potential strategy between himself and Heatstroke. And Dynamite comes out of the corner. Now Dynamite into again the opposite corner, running monkey flip. Overhead kick from Frostbite. And a running forearm taking down Curtis. And Dynamite's been in there for quite some time. It's been the elements have been making frequent tags in and out. Dynamite might need to make a tag back to Isaac. And that was Dynamite with staring a hole into Frostbite. Able to fight out of the corner. And around and around we go where we stop. Nobody knows. In this tag team match. Tag made. Here comes Heat Stroke. And an assisted cross body. From the elements. And Dynamite reaching out for a tag. Here comes Isaac York spinning back elbow. Taking down Heat Stroke into the cover. Frostbite's there to break it up. Heat Stroke missing with the right inside kick. The Dynamite, or the Isaac York rather, able to counteract with that sucker punch. Another Death Valley driver from Heat Stroke.
into the corner. Tag Manor comes frostbite. Another, again, instance of isolating the arm, going for the waist lock control. Back elbow from Frostbite. Comes into a DDT. Looks eerily similar to the exclamation point that Isaac's known for hitting. Whoa! Sucker punch there from Dynamite to Frostbite. That was not a rhyme if I intended to have the time for it. Another flying cross. Flying forearm in the corner. Again, and there's that tilt whirl. Fujiwara armbar on Dynamite Curtis. Is he going to tap out? This is the second time he's been in this armbar. Again, it's appearing that Dynamite's like pleading with the referee not to say that he taps out. Again, tag made. Heat stroke comes in. Double team. Hip toss and dual kicks by the elements. And it seems like we're getting eerily close to the elements picking up a victory. Ducks under from Dynamite Curtis. Into the corner. These two teams know each other by the back of their hand. Tag mayor comes frostbite. You know, frostbite, what's he looking for here? A power bomb. Jackknife cover rolls through into the Boston Crab. And frostbite is forced to break the submission. Am I able to kick him off for the second? Innovative takedown there. And Frostbite, but Dynamite is able to land on his feet. And Dynamite Curtis with a standing suplex. Brings Frostbite to Earth. Tag made. Here comes Isaac York. Might be an easy payday for Isaac York if all he has to do is just make a cover for the victory, but I don't think that's what he's planning for here. Standing drop kick by Isaac. Now up on the shoulders of Isaac York. Hung up on the top rope. Now Isaac looking to put this match away. We've seen it a few times here. The exclamation point. DDT. Into the cover to pick up the victory here. Ion Heatstroke breaks it up. This match will continue. Of course, the referee was not hesitating to count out Dynamite if he wasn't to get on the apron. Keep your control of the back of the head is Frostbite. Back elbows will break that hold. And again, tilt the world Fujiwara armbar. For a frostbite, but Isaac able to escape it a lot sooner than Dynamite has been in this whole match. Tag made. Again, focusing on the arms. There's got to be some kind of strategy they put together before the match even started. For both members of the element, solo tackle by Isaac York. Quick kick to the gut. Tag made. What are we looking for here? A springboard drop kick into a flatliner. It looked like never seen that move before. At least that combination of moves. Running drop kick from Dynamite. Crucifix bomb, no cover from Frostbite. If I was Frostbite, I may have gone into the cover. 
Just to be able to hit a crucifix bomb from out of nowhere. Cover here off the rolling neck snap. And Dynamite gets the kick out. Just barely gets the shoulder up. Now Frostbite going to try his version of Enziguri. Killer Frost. From Frostbite into the cover. Two. Isaac breaks it up. Standing Spanish fly from Frostbite. So we've seen both the Sunburn and the Killer Frost and Zagiris from Frostbite and Heat Stroke, respectively. Of course, Isaac's got to get out on the apron. Dynamite, back elbow. Dynamite with a power bomb position. And again, another use of the top rope. And Frostbite just being dumped out on the floor. Team out there on the floor from Frostbite. Obviously aware of the referee's count. Again, another forearm in the corner. And the wheels are got to be turning in the Heads of the elements, not sure what else to do. They fit him with both of their ends of gears. We haven't seen the weather control submission from either member, at least in this match. Here we go with that Fujiwara armbar again from Frostbite. It's about the third time Dynamite's been in this, or at least from, from Frostbite's perspective. They're out of Frostbite's arsenal. At some point, on um, relax power slam there from Dynamite. At some point, Dynamite's been busted open. Completely missed that. From Dynamite Curtis into the cover. And that's going to wrap up this tag team match. The smooth as silk. Pick up the victory over very game elements. And we see the many replays throughout this match. The Fujiwara armbar were very present in this tag match. As well as the Death Valley driver. So smooth as silk. Picked up a victory. Again over a very game. Elements here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We got singles action coming up next. back folks we got ourselves women's action here we got Paige Storm with the Suicide Blondes in action of course the Suicide Blondes are maybe just well yeah both of them have been in a rivalry as of late with Charlie Evans of course all culminated to Adrenaline where they won a handicap match against Charlie and then Cindy Danger would get a victory. The show following Adrenaline against Charlie, but now Paige Storm is in action this week.
And let's see if Paige Storm can continue momentum for the Suicide Blondes. And potentially one of them could be the future women's champion here in 2KCW. It's going to be a tough task at hand for Paige Storm as she has to face off against Jenna Jordan. Jenna Jordan, one of the most real people you will ever meet. She does a lot of charity work for people around the country. Jenna Jordan and Paige Storm. Of course, what are the Suicide Blondes without having one member out on the floor as accompanying them? Kick misses from Paige Storm. Jordan with an atomic drop. And then a hair whip throw by Paige Storm. Again, we haven't seen Jenna in some time. She did pick up a victory a little bit ago. Running neck breaker from Paige Storm. Jenna finishing up a tour with Shimmer and Ring of Honor Wrestling. And now, Sunset Flip Bomb from Paige Storm taking down Jenna. Into the corner. Monkey flip by Paige Storm. Taking down Jenna. Jenna Jordan trying to mount a comeback here. Snap suplex. And now a crucifix bomb by Jenna Jordan. And actually, this comes full circle. For the suicide blinds and Charlie Evans because it was in our first ever mat our first ever show where we had a tag team match with Jenna Jordan and Charlie versus the Suicide Blondes. It was Charlie and Jenna that would pick up the victory there. So this calls comes full circle for our women's division. Cindy distracting Jenna out on the floor in order for Paige to get an advantage. When her knees come up empty for Paige. And Jenna immediately going for the make a wish. It's also the name of one of her other charities that she likes to be a part of is the Make a Wish Foundation. That's why that move is aptly named Make a Wish. Into the hip toss combination there. Almost like a power slam cover by Jenna. Kick out by Storm. And Jenna stomping away at Paige Storm here. And getting into another atomic drop. Wrist lock control from Storm into a reverse atomic drop this time from Paige. And Storm into a spinning slam by Paige Storm. Paige now just staring a hole in through Jenna Jordan trying to get words of encouragement from Cindy. But now, oh my god, no way, wait, the steel chair, the steel chair. Cindy introduced the steel chair right underneath the famous sir. Hit by Paige Storm, and Paige may think she's going to get disqualified, but I don't know what's happening. The referee, I guess, didn't see him to the stunner. 
Somehow the ref is allowing this to happen. Stunner on Jordan here. Kick out my Jordan. Somehow Paige gets away with hitting a Famouser onto the steel steps. And then hitting a stunner and the referee is just going to allow it. That's just unbelievable. Drop kick by Paige Storm. And both members of the Blondes are great athletes. They don't need to result, resort to tactics like this. Countless drop kicks, cross body reversed by Jordan to the backbreaker. And now the referee finally going to do his job and take out the chair. Jawbreaker counter by Storm. This match has just hit 100 miles an hour. Sit out reverse neck breaker by Jordan, too. I nearly thought Jenna had the match won there. And now Jordan again. We're going to put this match away. She hit it before out of nowhere to make a wish. This is going to be enough to put the match away here. Pick up a victory for Jenna Jordan. No. Hedge Storm still staying alive in this matchup against Jenna. And now forearms and back elbows. Jenna. Roundhouse kick to Paige Storm. A chop blocked by Jordan to the elevated suplex. Now another crucifix bomb by Jordan. And Jordan setting up again for a third. Make a wish on the paint storm here. Two connects. Rolling into the cover to pick up a victory here. No, Paige. Surviving the make a wish for a third time. Jenna's having to resort to other tactics here. The make a wish is not getting the job done here against Paige Storm. And now Jenna running knees coming up empty. No water in the pool, as they say. I don't know if she's going for a running knees or possibly like a meteora. Off the top row, we don't know except for Jenna. And Paige going for that famous or again, this time no assistance from a steel chair. Into the cover on Jordan. Jenna staying alive off the famous sir. Now well, Paige again looking for the stunner. To Jenna Jordan cover here. And Paige Storm. Albeit without some scrutiny. Paige Storm picks up a victory over Jenna Jordan. And we see again the famous or like just barely clipping the steel chair. Jenna Jordan catches it. And then we see the make a wish from two different angles. The Paige Storm pits gets the victory here over Jenna Jordan. Probably the biggest win in her career so far, I would almost argue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next in our main event, Steel Cage Match. And here comes Devin Andrews.
again the older brother of Kurt Andrews, the former GAW Academy champion. Devin made quickly made a list of enemies here in 2KCW, including Keith Mayfield of the Red River Connection. And of course the champion Eric Anderson. Well to see how Andrews does here against the former 2KCW champion Leroy Punchbeef. So without further ado, let's get the former champion out here in this first ever steel cage match. And we haven't seen a whole lot of Leroy Punch Beef. I and mean, of course we saw him at the Autumn Rumble pay-per-view over at Reign of Chaos Wrestling taking on Kevin Owens. A big surprise there for the Reign of Chaos fans. the former champion is to take on the newcomer Devin Andrews it's a little bit of more history made here by Leroy Punchbeat that he's the first ever 2kcw champion then he is competing in the first ever steel cage again in the history of both 2CW and 2KCW so you're going suplex there by punch beef taking down Andrews now tying him up into the arm snap there by Punch Beef and Punch Beef wants to put this match away quickly. Trying to escape. Brought back into the ring by Devin Andrews. And of course, you can follow Devin Andrews on Twitter at, at hit first ask, ask later on Twitter. And he's very vocal about even with his own brother Kurt over in GAW as Punch Beef goes to work on Andrews inside right kicks right by Punch Beef and repeated back elbows right into the center of the back of Andrews here and again, working on the right arm with Devin Andrews. There's Punch Beef, and again, Punch Beef wants to end this early. He wants out of this cage here. And Andrews saying, no way. I think Andrews wants to make an example. Of Leroy Punch Beef. I mean, we've seen how how hard Devin can fight. And Punch Beef again just isolating that right arm of Andrews. Punch Beef setting up for the three amigos to Devin Andrews. And the third one connects. Into the cover now off the three amigos. And Andrews gets the kick out. And 
Andrews wants to make an example of Punch Beef when he gets his title shot at the Girls Grand Prix event. And now Punch Beef, oh my god, up on the top row, the slap shot. I'm not sure if he connected fully with the slap job, but Devin was able to get up on his feet. At least for the moment. Take down by Punch Beef. Punch Beef went for the slap chop on the bottom right corner of your screen, and he had to cross all the way across the ring, and I think he barely connected with it. Or maybe not at all if Devin was able to get up on his feet. And now these two just battling on what would be called the top of the cell. Very dangerous position for both men. As Punch Beast sent back into the ring, Devin trying to get his footing here. To escape the cage. And Punch Reef is right there to put a stop to it. And now Andrew is able to fight back here, able to shove off Punch Beef. Andrews has got to get, he's just now getting to the other side of the cage wall here. As Punch Beef is immediately back up to stop him and bring him back inside the ring. Now Devin just went head first into the steel cage wall. And Punch Beef not letting up on him. Oh, wait a minute. Andrews showing signs of life here against Punch Beef. Face first. Punch Beef goes back into the ring. Andrews. I mean, he's known for his underground fighting, but he's obviously never made an attempt to escape a cage. As much as he is used to competing inside of it. And Andrews, again, trying to fight off Punch Beef, but Punch Beef is bringing, able to bring him back inside. And these two, again, just battling up on the top rope. Eating some steel in the process. Back and forth, these two guys go. I believe Devin may have just lost his, his grip there on the cage. And Punch Beef is taking full advantage of the situation. Punch Beef. I think he's I think Punch Beef is gonna win this match. Andrews just coming to his feet. And Andrews can't do anything now. Punch Beef barely escaping. Devin Andrews here. Punch Beef is gonna pick up the victory. You can try and call it whatever you want for a, a victory if you escape a steel cage, but to me, that was a bit more of a cow act of cowardice on Punch Beef's part if he didn't want anything to do with Devin Andrews. And here we see again the slap chop from the top row, but yeah, no, Punch Beef didn't get any of that. Off the slap chop. Leroy Punchby is going to pick up the victory in the first ever steel cage match. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our show this week. We hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next week right back here on 2KCW.